Israel must take measures within its power to prevent and punish the direct and public incitement to commit genocide in relation to the members of the Palestinian group in the Gaza Strip. The World Court on Friday ordering Israel to prevent acts of genocide against the Palestinians and do more to help civilians. It stopped short of ordering a ceasefire, though, as requested by South Africa. South Africa brought the case to the International Court of Justice earlier this month, asking it to grant emergency measures to halt the fighting. While the ruling denies Palestinian hopes of a binding order to pause fighting, it does represent a legal setback for Israel. Israel had hoped the case, brought under the Genocide Convention, established in the ashes of the Holocaust, would be thrown out. Here's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu after the ruling. Like every country, Israel has an inherent right to defend itself. The vile attempt to deny Israel this fundamental right is blatant discrimination against the Jewish state, and it was justly rejected. The charge of genocide leveled against Israel is not only false, it's outrageous and decent people everywhere should reject it. South Africa accuses Israel of states-led genocide in its offensive, which started after Hamas militants stormed into Israel, killing 1,200 people and kidnapping more than 240. Over 26,000 Palestinians have been killed and the majority of the population of 2.2 million displaced in a three-month campaign of intense bombardment. Israel says it has acted in Gaza in self-defense against a foe that attacked first. As the war on the ground in Gaza enters a particularly destructive phase, the international community considers ways to quell the fighting. Mediated talks on a month-long truce that could see hostages freed in swaps for Palestinian prisoners in Israel have resumed. But sources told Reuters they've snagged on the two sides' differences over how to bring an end to the war. On the last day of his diplomatic tour of the Middle East, UK Foreign Minister David Cameron said talks have made progress. Because of course, a pause would be great for hostages, good for aid, and we might be able to turn that into the sustainable ceasefire that we want without a return to fighting. That's what I've been in the region talking about, and I think we are making some progress. On Friday, Israel kept up its bombardment on the southern city of Han Yunis, where it said intensive battles with Hamas fighters were taking place. The heaviest fighting in weeks is now in crowded areas, jammed with hundreds of thousands of people who fled from elsewhere. The enclave faces a humanitarian disaster, as supplies of food, water, medicines and fuel run gravely low. Palestinians say Israel has blockaded hospitals, making it impossible for rescuers to reach the dead and wounded. Israel denies this and blames Hamas for harm to civilians for operating around medical centers, an accusation the fighters deny.